Hi friends, Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to my channel Knowledge for Everyone. So today here I will tell you how to create an attractive and easy thumbnail without paying to the website or without uh, paying to someone else. You can make your own creative thumbnail at uh, just staying at your home through laptop, through mobile or through any of the computer which you want but for this thing you must be online or you must have the internet so let's start the name of the site is the website name is Pixter and I have its shortcut here so I will just click the shortcut and open it but friends do you know that I have given the link in the description for you and only it's the time for one click after the click you can get the website now here when I will scroll down it will give me two options of advanced pixel E or playful pixel X and pixel X we are having uh, so not so much options but in pixel E it's an advanced model of pixel X and so that's why we are having all the advanced shop uh, all the advanced options so now here I will click pixel E here it has been opened now we will go to create new here you can see that we are having many sizes like uh, in pixel you can create the thumbnail of uh, web page here you can see web page web 720p and full hd icon size square hd square high med square uhd web 1440p ultra hd instagram and so on instagram story facebook cover and facebook profile but now I am going to use I'm gonna use full HD size because I prefer it for thumbnails and here you can give the title to your project you can adjust its width and height and if you forget if you forgot to adjust its width and height so you can do it when you are up, uh, when you're about to download it and uh, the good news for Pixel is that you don't uh, have when you will download the file of Pixel, you will not have the watermark for like for example from if you will download any image from the website from any other website so the image is having the watermark of the website but in Pixel, it's not like the same you will create your project by your own self with the help of pixlr tools and you uh, when you will download your image or your thumbnail then you will not uh, then you don't gonna have the watermark on the image and if you want to open the background it's your wish i don't uh, i don't want to have the background so i will close it let's create in full hd size i have created this now it uh, now you are having two options of taking the images you can go on file and open new open image then it will open the file explorer for you from your computer and uh, if you will here take new image so it will again open your file explorer you can even give it uh, the image url so it will open the image through the url and if you will click on stock search then let's see what will happen here these are the images of forests you can see how beautiful these forests are so now for example if uh, I'm gonna take uh, the images of beautiful flowers so here I can type and search the image related to my video to related to the thumbnail which I'm gonna create so I will search here 
for example beautiful flowers now let's see what are the results here wow you can see how beautiful this flower is this this and there are many other flowers here you can see it and now you must be confused you are i think so that you are confused that how we can add these images in our in our project it's so simple right now first sell now first we'll select the item which we want so here i want beautiful bouquet of flowers now here you can see how beautiful this flower is and this one now let's open this flower i will just simply click on the flower image and here it will ask that which size you want the original size in full hd or in web size i will apply the full hd and or even you can here write your size here you can write your length and width of the page whichever you want and now let's apply this now here you can see that uh, the image has been opened in our project this was the project which we have opened last time but it's empty so we can cross it simply from there now here you can now let's see suppose you want to write a text on your thumbnail how you can write here you can see the option of t you can click on this here upwards you can see here upwards you can see that it's written t and add add text now i will click on this so it will give me the option of writing text when i will cross this so it's all here now i am writing here for example popcorn popcorn so oh, oh now by mistakenly i have clicked outside and now i am not having an option to edit it so how can i add it it's a big confusion let's click it now here again i cannot edit it then but when i am but when my mouse is upwards and my arrow of the mouse is upwards here you can see where it was written add text here now it's written edit when i will click it so it will give me the right or the option to add it but now i don't want to edit it i will click outside and here now as you are changing uh, the font styles in word in uh, any of the softwares of microsoft word here also you can change you don't know how okay no problem it's easy just click on this area and it will give you all the sizes or all the styles of uh, text which you are having in microsoft word now here you can see the word which i have written it is changing its styles now for example i want this one style i have clicked it and now it's a style is changed but i know that you can't see this so we can change the color any color which we want we can take it as white black but i think so white is better we will press ok and now 
oh now its size is so small yes here where it's written size we will click on this 80 and we can make it more small or we can make it more big as much as you want okay now your size is done now if you want to make this thin you will just click this and you will drag now you can see half of the writing is now we can uh, we were just able to see half of the writing when we make it when we made it thin now here where it's written settings i will click on this a and uh, if i have written the words in two lines like for example pop on the first line and corn on the second line so here from this line space i can uh, adjust the space of their line uh, the space which is which was in between of those lines and from this letter spacing you can see what is happening all the words are going far and on zero they are coming so close and now you can uh, from this align center this is the these are the options for alignment and case align left align center align right i will take align center now this is uppercase like uh, how we um this is the double case uppercase when i will press this you can see that and these all the text uh, the text which i have written is all now in caps lock in uh, capital letter i will press italic bold and now i will take from here styles now you are just thinking that uh, now how can we see that what is happening to our text because this window has been opened in just in front of our text you will just simply click it and drag uh, wherever you want you can see i will drag here now click the background so it will have the background line you want the line background word background and so but and if you want to punch out so you can see how beautiful it's looking um the words which you have written the it's uh, their color has been deleted only they have been just like when we cut something from the cardboard it has been just like the same now but i don't wanna punch out this and i will close the background and if you want the outline you can click simply click the outline button click the color and you can change the color of the outline you can see now it will turn into black now the you now your word has been highlighted now you can punch out you can see that only your outline color is uh, has been showing and your word has been disappeared or you can just open it you can adjust the size of your outline you can see it's uh, being bigger it's not looking good now it's fine now we can even have their shadow and we will open the shadow here we can have you can see that uh, your um, text is having the red shadow the, it has been just like you have sprinkled some of the color on this now i will cross this from this you can add an other layer of text and from this you can just make the duplicate of that uh, text just how when i have clicked this now i will drag this one here you can see how now i will click this here you can delete this text and do you know how you can rearrange this text you can just simply click here and here you can uh, drag the text anywhere you want after selecting it 
and now I will show you some other options too here you can see that it will and when you will click on this option it will tell you how many tabs and pixels you have opened and from this maximize button you can see you can navigate all the options which you have used this is the history of this project then you will minimize this this and this now it's all short you can minimize this then it's now again short it has been just made like a bar you can again minimize it okay friends in every class i will tell you about every tool and you can even watch my other videos for pixlow the students or my friends which uh, are having confusion to understand english so even they can see my other classes which are in hindi or you can say in urdu and friends if you like my video so tell me in the comments and don't forget to press the like share and subscribe button and friends if you want to uh, be notified first so please don't forget to click the bell icon for more new videos or updates and through the comment section tell me how was my video so when you will comment on my video i am motivated so i can make more good videos for you which are so helpful so friends allah is and we will inshallah we will meet in the next video